in this video tutorial we will do uh, we will define the roles and after that uh, we will assign these roles to the res different resources for defining the roles we will go to the enterprise and here you can see that roles option click on the roles option this window will prompt up for the roles by clicking on this add button we are going to define the roles first of all i will define the cpm r as a resource id and cpm roles this is the main heading under this we will define different roles like architect commissioning engineer civil engineer mechanical engineer so by using this add button and using this navigation key i am going to write the first role a stands for architect in this way we will define different roles uh, we can use also this uh, insert button as a shortcut key for adding a new role is the procurement engineer uh, after defining the roles you can go to the general tab and here you can define different uh, responsibilities so for architect for example i am going to write some roles i will go to the modify option and here i will write prepare the shop drawings render different sketches In this way you can define different kinds of roles so after defining this one you can also change its font color sizes etc then i will click ok and all the things which we have defined are showing here we can also print this as well then i will go to the resource tab and here i will add uh, uh, these roles to different resources for example our three design engineers are architects i will go here click on the assign button and i will uh, the other uh, resource tab will be open resource pool is open here i if i uh, consider uh, design one engineer design two engineer and design three engineer or architect i will just select three of uh, these uh, um, resources then click assign button and uh, these three persons with a name of Abu Bakr, Ahmed and Umar are assigned the role of architect. In this way, for different roles, we will assign the different uh, resources. And uh, if you want to assign the resources as well, you can also add this uh, yeah, roles in the resource tab as well. Then go to the resource option. And here you can see that uh, I have defined the primary roles here. So it is automatically linked with these resources so if you want to add uh, the role here you can also add in the option of resources for example design engineer 4 design engineer 5 are uh, civil engineers so i am going to select the civil engineer from there in this way i will assign all the roles to different resources now you can see that all the roles has been assigned to different resources so there are two ways we have discussed either in go to the resource tab option and assign the roles from here or either you have to go to the roles option uh, by going to the enterprise option select uh, this role button here you can see you, you have defined all the resources after defining this you can assign from here resource tab as well so here you can also define its proficiency as well there are different categories master expert skilled proficient and inexperienced 